Hey there. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Well, this is a king of pen that I accidentally left in my pocket and it shrunk in the dryer. <laughs> no, this is the Pro Pro Greer. No, Pro sorry, Pro Gear Slim Mini. It's slimmer and it's smaller than a regular Pro Gear. Pro Gear being the flat top version of Sailor, right? Because their their 1911s are round tops. Pro Gear flat top on both ends. And they made a mini version. A little pocket pen. And it's very cute. Um, I'm just posting it so you can see. When you post it, you have a decently sized pen. But unposted, it is indeed a tiny little pen. And I would not be able to use it that way. Now, I was very excited uh, that Applebaum started to carry Sailor because it's a cool brand. It's a brand I really like. And so I thought that might be fun. So I asked Jos if he could if he could lend me one of the sailors. I I have reviewed a lot of them over the years, but I have never reviewed a, a slim mini. People love little pens because they're like, hi. So um, people want that. You want that. And so, as always, SBRE Brown delivers. Now, um, cool pens, little pens. We should talk about them. I'm going to do that. Show you the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And that's the end of it, isn't it? So, let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini. This is the gold trim and the finish is maroon. It's kind of a nice finish, I think. So, box, cardboard outer sleeve, actual box. Uh, it's a slightly Spartan box, I will say. It's cardboard. I don't mind that. I, I'd rather have a nice pen than a fancy box. has a little pen bed. Uh, underneath that is nothing. Not a sausage. So, simple box. I'm just putting this away. Let's look at the pen. So we have here, obviously, a pocket pen. So this is a smaller pen. I'll give you that next to a Pilot Metro. By the Metropolitan, right? Um, clearly smaller pen, right? But that's that's the point. It's the Slim Mini. If you want a full-size Pro Gear, you can buy that, and then you have that. Has some interesting features. So let's let's talk about it. On top of the cap is the finial with the Sailor logo, which you know Sailor. It's an anchor. That kind of makes sense. Then we have the clip, which is nice and springy. I really, again, I really like the maroon color. I know the, the black and gold is very popular, but it's, you know, just another black and gold pen. This is kind of neat. We have a center band here that says Sailor, Japan, founded 1911. Hence the 1911 model, right? Barrel, just put it down because it's a bit smaller. Barrel, fairly straight, but then tapers down and nice gold details. I like the gold ring, gold ring, gold ring. Nice and fairly balanced. The cap unscrews and then you have a small pen. I just want to show you that next to a Metropolitan uncapped. Small pen, right? But I mean, that's the whole point. It's, it's a pocket pen. In this mode, I would not be able to use it. I, I, can't, I can't use this unposted, but it is, of course, designed to be posted does not have threads on the back of the barrel, but it posts securely. And then you have a decently sized pen that I think is quite nice. This pen's section tapers down and flares out a little bit. And then you have their 19, sorry, their nice nib. I think I may have said before that it's 21 karat. This is actually 14 karat. I'm sorry about that. 14 karat gold, nice gold nib. This is an extra, sorry, this is a fine, writes kind of like a Western extra fine. Has the Sailor logo, has the anchor again, and then it has the plastic feed. And I've always kind of enjoyed the shape of the Sailor feeds. They're a bit blockish and rectangular, and I, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, under the hood, so to speak, is a cartridge. So this, this one did not come with anything. I don't know if they typically do, but this one, there was nothing in that box. So I had to supply my own cartridge. Bear in mind, Sailor, uh, it's a um, proprietary cartridge system, right? So that, that uh, do bear that in mind. 
There are other finishes available. There is a black for people who like that. There is an ivory for people who like that. And you have a nice range of nib options. Extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. There's also a music nib, single slit, two-time music nib, and a zoom nib. So overall, pretty cool stuff. And here's a magic trick. It's there, now it's gone. Oh, okay. Let's see how it writes. Allow me to just post it, otherwise I can't use it. Here we have a... Oh, it's so fine. Uh, oh. Fine nibs are not necessarily my thing, but I, I can handle it. Extra fine nibs are really not for me. And remember Japanese nibs they tend to be a grade finer than their Western counterparts so Japanese fine is kind of like a Western extra fine Sailor nibs have feedback they're known for that and that's fine not everybody loves it though so I, if you like super super smooth nibs then first of all don't get this and fine uh, but secondly Sailor may or may not be for you I will say, oh, that sound. I hate it so much. It's purely, purely personal. It has nothing to do with the pen. As fine nibs go, it's certainly a nice writer, but it's, see, it's not even super dry. It's just so, so incredibly fine. I'm just gonna do a little bit of pressure. Again, be very careful. It's not a flex nib, but you you can get out a little bit. But again, be very careful. This is not designed as a flex nib. <sighs> Reverse writing. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, so you can actually do it, and it's surprisingly smooth that way. I mean, relatively speaking, sometimes that upside down stuff just gets very scratchy. This did not. But I'm also not saying that I'm loving it. If I were to get this, obviously for me, it would be a broad nib, right? So that's not a, it's not a fair criticism. I'm just saying it's, it's if, you, if you absolutely need a fine nib, well, this is undeniably fine. And it's surprisingly comfortable. So for people with bigger hands, once posted, surprisingly comfortable. Unposted, I, I couldn't. I just, I just, I can't use this, um, but that's just me. Pretty interesting. Let's talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini? Pocket pens are not for everyone. I will lead with that. But if you don't want a pocket pen, don't buy it, right? There is a full version uh, sorry, full-size version of the Pro Gear available, so just, just get that. And then also, also the Realo, which is very cool because it, it looks bigger than this, but it has that flat top um, look and has a built-in piston, so that's kind of neat too. As to this pen, I think there are some things to be said for it. It's a Sailor pen. Sailor pens, in my experience, are well-made. Even the inexpensive ones, this isn't one of them, but the really inexpensive ones are well made. It's a solid brand, it's been around since 1911, they know what they're doing, they make their nibs in-house, which is rarer and rarer these days. They keep doing it, they know how to do it, they do a good job with it, they have 21 karat gold nibs. I love a lot about the brand. If you like pocket pens, this is for you. If you don't like small pens, it's not for you, it's that simple. It's a nice writer, fine nib. Remember, Japanese nibs tend to be one nib grade finer than western counterparts so japanese fine tends to be like a western extra fine it certainly is that very fine line sailor nibs are known for their feedback that's not for everyone either feedback on a fine or extra fine sailor is definitely something i'm not saying scratchy but you will definitely feel your writing with a fountain pen and all that's not for everyone but some people love it uh, some people don't so i'm just pointing that out I think it's cute, I think it's cool, pocket pens are cute, and there is a lot to be said for that, so I like all that. Two things I like a little less about it, it's certainly not cheap, 173 euros. Uh, you might be able to get it cheaper if you were to go directly to Japan, but then you may also have to pay import duties, that kind of stuff, so 
that doesn't work for everyone. I know in Europe that's not typically very helpful. In some other countries it can be. Don't forget that you can get a 10% discount by using the friend code on applebaum.com, right? So click the banner on my website, you get a discount code and you can use that. So that, that might help a bit. Plus, if you're not in Europe, you don't have to pay the VAT. If you, so there are some, some benefits. Having said that, it's not a cheap pen, let's be honest. Final thing I will say is no converter. And there are small converters available. Think of the Templar Mini Converter and then they have the Templar Mini Skinny or something, like whatever. They have really small converters. But unfortunately, say there's a proprietary, I can't, say, I can't speak today, a proprietary format, so that won't work. Those are standard international converters, uh, cartridge nipple size things. So that won't work for this pen. So you're stuck with sailor cartridges and they fit and they work and they're pretty big. So they have a, quite a bit of ink in them and they clearly fit in the pen. So that's not an issue, but just bear in mind, if you want to use bottled ink, you're probably going to have to use a syringe to refill cartridges. And some people have no issue with that. I mean, let's be fair, it's not something you do 20 times a day, but it's something to bear in mind. So they have it. If they could make this as a little Rialo with a little piston filler, I think that would be mind-blowing. But, you know, that's just me. I hope this was useful. A very kind thank you to Yoast for lending me the pen. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful, as I said before, and I've just repeated, and I'll gladly see you later.